Today's awesome thrift store find is this Scott Contessa girls mountain bike with 24 inch wheels. This is going to be great for my daughter who's 10 years old who has been riding a 20 inch girls mountain bike. This is going to be a great upgrade for her. We're thinking of going to Moab uh, in the spring and this will be perfect for her when we go there. There's really nothing wrong with it. I'm going to do just a basic tune up of the bike. Make sure everything's working right and we'll get it ready to go. So taking a quick look, you can see the cables look like they're in pretty good repair. They slide easy. I'm not seeing rust or anything on them. Do see some rust on the brake line there and here some surface rust maybe we can take that off and sand it up a little bit but really there's not a lot to do even the tires look fairly new the fork just has few dings probably from just being in the garage. Same with the frame. I mean, the frame looks really quite good. Just a little cleaning to make it look new. Not sure why the seat is so yellow. I wonder if it was white and it's yellowed in the sun. Uh, maybe not because the underside is, maybe that's a little whiter, I don't know. It's just a weird color. But um, everything looks just fine on this bike. Really not a lot, really not a lot to do to make it just right. In fact, probably just pump up the tires and clean it up. That's what we're going to do. That looks a lot better. A lot better. Just a little bit of surface rust was all it was. Cleaned up real good. Now, while we're up here, 
put the brake back on. I'm gonna adjust the brakes. See these? These are little barrel adjusters. And with V brakes, quick little trick, if assuming the barrel adjusters are long enough, we'll take these out until they're almost almost all the way out there. You can see you can see now I've got a space. I've got them unscrewed almost all the way. There's a teeny little bit left in there. Now up here in the front, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to loosen these up. Pop the cable out from behind here. I'm just going to pull these tight. As tight as I can. And then tighten it back up. All right, then back up here, the barrel adjuster, I'm just gonna wind it back in. And what that's doing down on the brake is loosening it up. So now, now I can feel the brakes. I've got some, they're a little tighter and I can adjust those barrel adjusters to get it just perfect. So back here at the barrel adjusters, once I get the it just right, I'm gonna tighten down the lock nut on it. So there's two nuts. One I'll keep the the outside barrel adjuster where I want it. This one is just gonna tighten in. Now oh, that feels good. Now same thing for the rear. We'll roll them out to where they're just barely sitting in there. Tighten up that Allen. There we are. Here, good and snug. Now, when I'm done doing this, you can just tuck, there's a little lip here, you can just tuck your brake cable behind it. Kind of want to give it so it's got a little curve, so it curves back out so it doesn't rub on your tire. But we can then stick this back there, and it's out of the way, and you have a nice bit of cable there still. So now I'm going to wind back the barrel adjuster. Give myself, see right now I'm break is snug. All right, brakes are good. So chain's a little dry. We're just gonna do a quick lube on the chain. Good. Now you could hear there's some rubbing of the chain on the that front derailleur there. We want to try to fix that. So to fix um, to adjust this derailleur, we want to move it just a smidge in this way. And on a lot of derailleurs and shifters, there's a barrel adjuster at the shifter. On this bike, there's not. So the only way to adjust the tension, which is like fine-tuning it, is with the adjustment of the cable, which isn't great. But we also have these two limit screws. And the limit screws you set so that you can't overextend the shifter um, and maybe derail the, the chain. Um, there's ones on the front derailleur and they're similar on the rear derailleur for doing just that. For this, 
the this screw here is the one that limits um, the outward extension of the derailleur and it was butting right up against it I've I've moved that but we're still and it did allow a little bit of room so we're a little bit better here but we are still rubbing we need to just go a hair in and the only way to do that like I said is to adjust the cable on the outside here so I'm gonna have to pull it just a little tighter really isn't super easy um, as far as fine-tuning but we will give that a try Oof, let's see derailleur mode That. I've moved it maybe like two millimeters, pulled it just a smidgen tighter. I think we're actually pretty good. On the derailers here. I'm going to apply just a little bit of lubricant on the chain rings back here. There's a little bit of rust on the inside of these. That'll help it keep it cleaner. All right, let's pump these tires up. Um, they've got a little bit of air. They've probably been sitting. And they're probably just fine. Take the valve stem off. These are Schrader valve tires. We're gonna pump it up to 40 PSI. This little girl's ready to go. I just need to have my daughter come out and test it out. We'll adjust the seat height. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know if you like seeing these thrift store updates. I look for opportunities to give old things new life. This thing's not that old, but well worth some extra life with another little girl. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video. Okay, what do you think? This is cool. Do you like the color? Um, yeah, I guess. Does that feel like that's a good height? Yeah. Pedal backwards a little bit. Okay, it looks like it can go a little higher, but maybe that's good. Get it so you one pedal is all the way down to the ground. Okay, hold it there. See what you want. So we want this is probably just fine. Maybe go a little bit higher. You want it so that the knee, when it drops down, is right there. This looks good. We'll leave it like this for now. In the spring, when it's starting to start riding, we'll get the size just right. What do you think? It's cool. I like do you it. like the color? Um. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Think it'll be a fun one to ride? Probably. Cool. It's an awesome bike.
Give me a smile.